How did you uh, well? How did you change the way you write lyrics then now? Um, it must have been hard. hard right? Yeah, it was hard because it's exposing more of myself, exposing yeah. more of my feelings. Um, I just uh, I don't know how I did it. I guess I I wrote down things that really meant a lot to me, and then I tried to look at different ways to make it not just boring. Kind of I love you and you love me. You know. Um, I don't know, it, it, it was hard to expose myself. It wasn't hard to write the lyrics. It was probably slightly easier, if anything, because it's true and it was simpler and it wasn't, you didn't need a dictionary. You know, people listening didn't need to work out so many clues. I mean, it's still weird, but it's, there's lines, a lot of lyrics that are just a true fact about me that I'd never yeah. said before and that was very easy. But what was hard was putting it out there. I guess. And once you put it out there, how, how were the reactions for you? I mean, uh, band members and maybe other, other I think people. it's been good for the band. They feel like they know what's going on. They can, at the same time, they can kind of see into me now and it sort of makes me nervous or, you know, makes me feel a bit exposed. And when I sing a song in front of, you know, thousands of people and it's kind of obvious what I'm on about and, uh, I'm saying I'm weak or I'm not good at this or I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's both things, it's good and bad, you know. You kind of people, it's what I want to say and it's what I think most people think anyway yeah. about themselves. That's communication though, isn't it? You've got to put yourself out there and then it comes back. So that's what I'm doing now, I guess. What's, what's, what's for you the, the most personal song? Um, Bits of different ones, Bit, bits of The House is Dust, most of Kimasabi, most of Duet. What, what, <laughs> maybe can we pick one? And, and Well, you don't have to explain it in, in detail, but what, what is uh, Kimasabi uh, uh, about? I don't think I want to talk about that one, just okay. because it's, the house it, is it's dust? a bit too much. The House is Dust, well, there's a, there's a line in it that's like... Uh, there's a line towards the end, I'm, li I'm living proof that nothing gets done. And I'm just kind of saying, I never get, I never sort my shit out, ever. Um, and that's quite hard to admit, and it's true, and I don't ever sort my shit out. And I say it at the end of the, at the, end of the song. Um, and I mean, at the end of Radiant, I'm saying, I, halfway through Radiant, I'm saying, you could make a difference if you wanted to, you know, but you don't, you know, having a go. And then at the end I say, I, never, I, I could make a difference, but I don't, you know. And I think it's that sort of, there's quite a lot of, um, uh, what's the word, admitting, well, I can't think of the word and I'm English, um, I don't know what the word is, uh, but admitting things. Yeah. Um, and they're usually faults of mine, and they tend to come at the end of the song. Um, but that happens a lot on this album, uh, and it feels good. There's also maybe some un, un, underlying theme that well that, that mankind isn't doing very well. Yeah, definitely. I think that underlies man alive as well. I think that's probably or something that will always underlie. Why? Why anything always? I do. Because it's what I think deep down is that it's not really going too well, and there's not much point in it anyway. Um, there's I've noticed that there's a lo a lots of stuff about. Um, just having children on both albums. And that's kind of my answer to the bad stuff that's on the albums as well, I guess. It seems that I always put it as a sort of antidote is just have some more humans, even though that wouldn't make any, anything better. But I guess that's all, of, all you're kind of meant to do really is, that's all there is to do, isn't there? That's all animals do. You can try and make things better for everyone. Or, or, or just making music. Well, make music. That is the other. That is the other thing. Yeah. yeah or a it, war. Is it? <laughs> no, no, is it for you? Is it for you? Um, those two or three choices. I think. Well, I think having a child is quite different to making music, but um, I do think music is different to all other arts because it's it doesn't have a reason to exist. Um, or it's not, it's, not, it's not an obvious thing. I think p painting on the wall of a cave, a picture of something you can see, makes sense. Um, 
making a film, a story about something that did happen or might happen, that makes sense because we like stories. But mu what the hell is music? Like putting a note in an order, putting chords in an order and a beat. What is a beat? Like what is that? What's it for? Nothing. It doesn't do anything. It isn't anything. And it's, yeah, every culture has it. Every culture has stories, sure, that makes sense, but every culture has music. Why? We don't know why. So I think it's, it's very special for that reason, because it doesn't, it's not real, it doesn't have any, it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes people say, well, my goal in life is becoming rich, having fun. Mm. What's your answer to that? Um, I don't think that would, I mean, having fun, yeah, that's fair enough. As long as it's not at the expense of others, I guess. Getting rich, I mean, what? it doesn't really mean you'll be happy, does it? Or have fun. And I think being alone and rich would be just as bad. I don't think that's... I think everyone knows that, don't they? Yeah. I mean, you know. Um, <laughs> are, are you happy now? No. No. How come? Um, haven't sorted my shit out. <laughs> I don't think there's. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Don't, don't really know what I'm doing. I guess still. I, are you happier than during Man Alive? Yes, I think I'm a bit happier with who I am. Maybe. Um, but I can't really remember. Last uh, last question. The the album is called Arc. Why? Well, an arc is a curve in my head. It's any kind of curve. And I like, um, I like to look at time as a big, the big picture, you know, start of mankind, end of mankind, and the curve, and thinking about where we are. Are we going up? Are we going down? Is this a good bit, a bad bit? And, the, you know, the peaks is on the album, and it's about peaks and troughs in time. And, and also, personally, myself, am I going up? Am I going down? Am I at the bottom? Am I at the top? Um, just thinking about the journey really, and the idea of the sweep and how things can speed up or get worse very quickly. And recession is another big graph doing that. And um, population, just, uh, just the exponential curve. And I like the idea of the, the arc. And where is mankind now? God knows, it's like... And you? Uh, same, I'm on the way up and down, I think. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.